Hey guys, what is up? I recently posted this rendering on my Instagram profile and I got a few requests on how I created these small dust particles scattered around the leather material. And as a matter of fact, I am going to show you right away. Step one is to have a material that you want to put your dust on top of. And here I have a ball with the uh, Paris Passion Black leather material downloaded from the cloud library. Next step is to open up that material in the material graph by clicking the button here. And after a quick rearrangement, I can go ahead and create the like sort of base dust material, which I do by right click go to materials and I go with the diffuse one. I take the output and drag it up here in the plus sign and it's going to be applied as a label. So now we have a uh, actually a dense layer of dust on top of this leather material. What we need next is a uh, opacity map that makes the uh, texture transparent uh, where there's no dust. And for that, I used um, one of these great dust overlays textures from polygon.com. I can really recommend this site if you are looking for any kind of texture. So I have downloaded these and imported into my Keisha library. So by going to my to the textures tab and search for dust, I get them up. For the rendering I showed here, I, if I remember correctly, I went the, with the dust small number three, and for this one I'm going with number four just to show a bit different one. So I drag it over, and I drag the output into the opacity input. And there you go, you have some dust on top of your leather. If you want to adjust the size, it's easy. You can double click on the uh, dust overlay map and adjust the scale. Sometimes it can be a bit hard to see what's actually going on. So uh, to help you a bit, you can select the texture and press C on your keyboard and it shows the uh, raw sort of uh, bitmap material or the bitmap color information. And when you're done scaling the texture, you can go ahead and press C again to remove it. Sometimes I duplicate this texture and put it into the bump map as well to get um, an extra layer of details. I mean, it. I don't, I'm not sure if it even is noticeable, but I like to do it. Um, if you go ahead and select the diffuse map here, or diffuse material, and press here on your keyboard, you can see uh, the color and the bump map. And it's a bit too much right now, the bump map, so I'll go ahead and adjust it to a, a height that makes more sense for a dust, a piece of dust. Something like this, and I press C on the keyboard again to exit the, the isolated view. So now we have a layer of dust on our leather material. You can always go ahead and uh, whoops, change the color. Here we have some red dust, some bright white dust, and some darker dust. Depends on your on your needs. With all this dust on the, the leather material, it's kind of weird that the uh, the painted surface is totally clear of dust. So it would make sense if it had had a layer of dust as well. And here, instead of doing the the same procedure once again, we can by shift um, left clicking and dragging, um, select all these um, nodes, right click and say um, copy selection. Then I can go to um, the material graph of this paint material and I can right click and say paste. And now we have the, uh, the dust material over here. And all we have to do is to drag it into the plus sign. And there you go, you get the exact same dust 
on your paint material. The cool thing about doing dust this way is that when you um, when you adjust your camera, then the angle of the dust, you know, it's it's it just follows along because it's on the material. Compared to if you added dust in post production, then you had to match that exact angle uh, and depth of field if you have used that on your camera and so on. So this will also work for animations, for example. Um, and yeah, the depth of field, as I just said, you don't have to match it up in post-production because it's just the the right amount because it's all ready on the material. All right, that's all for now. Thanks a lot for watching. If you uh, find this useful, please share so other people in your situation can benefit from it. Take care.